Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and we're feeling a bit better today, still slacking a tiny tiny bit but we're still feeling a lot better today. I'm going to get some more orange juice, we'll bosh that down and we'll be raring to go. Uh, we've got some jobs to do today, we're going to go around, I'm going to clean some of the fish tanks, we're going to get rid of some of the algae. Uh, we've got some jobs to do with some of the snakes, as Morgan informed me that one of them's having had a bad shed yesterday so we've got to help him today. Um, so please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me and we'll crack on with the jobs. So I've had an idea, I'm just about to go around and clean the fish tanks, but over the last couple of videos, I tried my best not to say, um, and so. So I'm going, hmm, so what we're doing, and I do it all the time. So what I thought would be quite funny, we can do a drinking game. Since it's New Year's Eve, drinking game, every time I say, hmm, or so, you have to take a drink, okay? So there's a little drinking game for you. For the rest of the video, ever I say, um, or so, you've got to take a drink. And you've got to put in the comments how smashed you are at the end of the video. I reckon that'd be a good little thing. So, I'm going to try not to just in it then. How are you going to drink? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to keep doing it now, Max. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say it. What we're going to do, I'm going to clean the fish tanks. Whenever... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I say that, you're gonna have to have a drink. So I think that'd be quite funny for a video today. Um, so I'm gonna clean. So what we're gonna do? That's another one. <laughs> we're gonna clean all the algae off the fish tanks. Been slacking a little bit over the last couple of days. The main one is the algae on the back of the tank because that looks the worst. We do have these tanks. We do a lot better. I've reduced the light, cleaned them all out, and they haven't produced the green water like they were doing before, which is great. Uh, we do have a little bit of hair algae, so we have to whip all that out as well. We'll crack on doing that, and then we can move on. Oh, excuse me, I've just had a drink. We'll move on to our other jobs today. Another thing we need to talk about as well, we need to up our feeding schedules. So, the Savannah Monitor, another drink. <laughs> and the... Uh, Black Spiny Tail Iguana, Sailfin Dragon, uh, <laughs> keep doing it. We need to up their food, they're getting bigger and bigger now. So what I'm thinking of doing, the one, you can, we need to up the amount of food we're giving them. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna have another Sunday feeding. We're gonna do Sunday feed, uh, mice and stuff like that. Monday live food, Wednesday, uh, no, Tuesday day off, Wednesday mouse, something like that, Tuesday live food, Friday day off, Saturday day off, and then Sunday big feed of frozen. That's what that's the idea now. So we need to up the amount of food, so we're going to add in another frozen mouse day. That's the idea because they're just getting that big now that they need that extra food. Oh, okay, so we crack on and try not to say the words. So I've done it again. <laughs> no one's going to make it to the end of the video. No one's going to make it to the end of the video. Okay, we're going to crack on, and I'll see you in a bit before I say it again. I'm not going to show you all of it, because it would be extremely boring. It'd be like two hours later. Two hours later. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to show you one, get it nice and clean. We'll show you an algae one. Little tips of how I get the hair algae out. Let's crack on and do some cleaning. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's open her up. We'll give her a little scrub. Start with the top. There we go. Slowly, slowly. Scrapey, scrapey. Okay, swap arms. And you can do this big piece. Algae isn't bad, it just looks bad. Algae's quite good, it adds an extra natural layer of biodiversity. It's nice to have, it's extra food for the fish. It is more natural to have algae in the tank bobbing around, it's an extra Little thing using the nutrients to survive. That's another little tip as well. 
if you are getting a load of algae, there's a good chance your tank's got quite a lot of ammonia, nitrite and nitrate, because that's what feeds the algae. So if you're not doing a lot of water changes and you get loads of algae, that's probably one of the main reasons. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Is you need some water changes and some fresh, clean water. So there we go, that one's reasonably clean now. Just gotta let it settle. The filter's gonna pick up any of the uh, loosey-goosey stuff that I've um, unlodged, dislodged. There, yeah, dislodged is a better word. So I'm gonna crack on, I've got some more to do. I've got that way to do, and I've got that way to do. That way. So crack on, and we'll show you a, a hair algae one. Now, this bad boy here, ho ho ho. So, oh, there's another drink. <laughs> We're gonna try and get the hair algae out by as close as we can to where it's attached to something. We're just gonna try and dislodge some of the little bits. We're never gonna get it all unless we completely take a load of stuff out. When you've got big bits like this, twist in your tongs, almost like you're getting spaghetti. And then you pinch right at the end, and you can get a good chunk of the, the hair algae. Lovely job. So we'll scrape that off. We we'll start again. Give a little twist. And then we grab right at the top and pull. There we go. And we're slowly, slowly gonna get more and more of our algae out until we're at a point where I think that's gonna be okay. We wouldn't be able to get rid of it unless we completely got rid of all of it. We got all the stuff out of the tank, give it a proper scrub. Um, even the disinfectant stuff that help kills it, sometimes that will leave some behind. Just manually ripping it off is usually the best way. But it can be quite tedious. But we're not looking for spotlessly clean, we just want it to look quite nice. Because as I said, algae's quite good, but it doesn't look the best. Especially when it's on the on the rocks and stuff at the bottom. We try and get as much of that out as we can. There we go. Lovely job, so there's all our algae. Still got a tiny bit in there in places, but that's not the end of the world. Give them something else to nibble on. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'll see you in a bit once I've got most of my jobs done. Spotlessly clean. Look at them all. They're all lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We even got that big bump of algae out of there. We did really well. Everything's come up A1. Really, really happy. I have got a couple more to do, but I'm just slacking a little bit. But I have had an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little counter up there of how many times I've said the words that we're not meant to be saying because we've got a drink. <laughs> So that's gonna be the plan. It's gonna be an extremely high number. <laughs> I really think it's gonna be an extremely high number. We've got a plan. Next is we're gonna check on the rule yesterday. Uh, the Banana Royal, Morgan messaged me yesterday. He was having trouble with the shedding. What we've done is we have added extra moss. We have added extra Hides, well, well, what we did was we had added extra bark so we had more stuff to rub on. We're going to go in, we're going to spray him again now, and then we're going to get him out, have a look over him, and see how much stuck shed he's got, and see if we can help remove some for him. That's going to be the plan out today. Makes sense now why he didn't feed the other day, is because he was in the middle of shedding and we didn't know. That is the plan. So he has been out and about quite a bit today. There is some bits of shed bobbing around, which is a good sign that put a little bit of extra moss and humidity in there and the cork bark helped him rub some of the stuff off. So as you can see, he's knocked his plant over, but we added cork bark here, cork bark there, so we've got something to rub his face on and rub his body on to help get the, cork, the shed off. Um, we added moss everywhere and under his hide, so we give him a lot bit more humidity. Let's see if we can give him another spray, then get him out and see if we can give him a hand. Okay then buddy, spray time. Give him a nice little spray, get 
get everything all hydrated and all humidity it up. Humidity up. Lovely. Let's put this plant back where it's meant to be. Up there. Now, here is our snake oh, look, We just did a bit more shedding. You can see we've got bits of stuck shed in places. So we get him out and we'll have a look. See if we can give him a hand. Come on then, buddy. Hello, my friend. Oh, yeah, we're struggling a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, struggling a little bit. We'll get the rest of that shed out, the, out there. Oh, come on then, buddy. Here he is. Little bit of stuck shed. He's had a little bit of a mare, he has. He's got it all off his belly, but it's all stuck on his back. Which we can soon help him out with this. Soon help him out with this. Oh, let's get you in a position where you can see what we're doing. Okay, so let's see where we can start. Where's the bump? Okay, so it starts just a little bit there. Tail is okay. Let's have a look at the head. Hello, my darling. So it looks like the head is clear apart from the back of the head. So that means good sign her eye caps have gone. So that's good. So we, if we were, best case scenario would be to start at the head and slowly work our way down because that's how she would naturally get it off. But as you can see, he's probably not too keen of having this mess with his head. Are you, sir? So let's be nice and gentle. Try not to knock over the, uh, the stand for me, if we can. The head is the hardest part because it's got the smallest scales. You're okay, darling. You're okay. We do have some shedding aid, which would be uh, very handy. So if we do get stuck, we can always get a little bit of the shedding aid, give her a soak, and that's really going to help us shed. If we get enough of it started, we should be able to get nice big sheets off. That's better. Okay, so you can see, we've got open shed. So we just be slightly lifting it and trying to get us all of it to come off in one go. So we want all the edges if we can. So I like to just rub my finger along the edges. Trying to get a lot of big bits exposed. As soon as we've got some nice big bits, it usually comes off in nice big panels. Come on, stop moving, darling. Stop moving so we can get some nice big bits off for you, eh? Hey? A lot of times they realise you're helping as well. Because this is quite irritating for them to have it on. That's why you see them rubbing quite a lot to get it off. You can see here, I'm just starting off the edge, all the way along, just by slightly lifting up as we go, nice and steady. Don't knock over the stand, my lovely, please. No, 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 come here. So naughty, come over here. Come over here, you're all right, you're all right. There we go, so we carry on. Nice and steady. It's not stuck, he's just not been able to get it off. That's what it is. So everything in his tank was a little bit too smooth. That's why I've put the cork bark in there now. So that's gonna give him a nice area to rub against next time he needs to shed. So it looks like he managed to get his belly starting, but then it ripped and he couldn't get the top off. 
There's no problem at all. We can soon help him out with that, can't we, sir? Yes, we can soon help him out with that. As soon as I've got this bit, we should be able to do the back end. There we go. So that is now all fresh skim. So hopefully we can just hold this now. It's nice and dry and flaky, which is good. But it can be a little bit of a pain when you're actually taking the skin off. because it wants to rip and tear when we'd rather it not rip and tear if we can help it. Come here, darling. I want to show people what we're doing. Come here, come here. You're okay, you're okay, calm down, you're okay. We're not doing anything, we're just helping your shed. There we go. nice and steady a lot of the time her movements do enough of it and you just holding on to it is plenty there we go coming along lovely Oh, we're doing well. Come on, baby, we can do it. Oh, yes, we're cooking with gas now. Okay, we lost it. We got it again. The last bit on the tail, we should be able to get this to come off. There we go. Last little bit here. doesn't really like it this way, it's the opposite way it should be going. You want to go down from the head because that's the way it should naturally come off. So there we go, there's half the snake done. We've got all that off. Just got the front half to do now. So you've seen how we do it. We slowly ease it off. It's easier to go from their head down, because that's how it would naturally come off. Going this way, you can end up struggling. It will come off that way, but you're fighting the lips of the scales all the time. So you'll end up breaking it a lot more and struggling a lot more. So I'm gonna carry on, getting a little bit more off, and I'll show you when I'm getting closer to her being done. So here we go. You can see I've managed to lift it all off her head. So now I've just got to ease it all the way down to the, where, 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 where it's stuck to about there, that's the last little piece. So all I did was drag my thumb along her head and use the little bit of moisture that comes off my skin to catch onto it, and that's how we lifted it off. Nice and easy. Now I'm just gonna slowly ease that down all the way down like we did before with the back bit. Not far off the last bit now. You can see we're doing really well. We've got all the way down to here. Don't you knock that stand over. No, don't you knock that stand over. No. Stay away from the stand. Naughty snake. The sun's fighting us a little bit as well. As well as the snake. Calm down, darling. Stop knocking it. I knew he was going to go in there. Again, you can see I've lost an edge, so I'll just rub me thumb. 
And there, uh, look, a lovely edge comes up. So then if the snake behaves itself, we can then grab that little edge and link, try and link it up with the rest of it. Sometimes it doesn't, because of course it's a curve. There we go, managed to get it to meet. Nice and easy, nice and chilled. No tugging on the snake, not being aggressive. It's nice, steady and slow. We're coming right towards the last little bit now. Stay still. I'm okay, darling. It's the last little bit. Calm down, don't touch the stand. Come on, darling, nearly there. Nearly there, nearly there. We just got this little tiny bit. Lovely job. So we managed to get all her stuck shed. So if I get it all in a pile for you, that's all the stuck shed she had. We managed to get it all off. She's absolutely beautiful now. We make sure she gets extra sprays towards shedding time next time. And we've added extra moss which is quite a big, big part of it. So she's got plenty of moss in there now, which is gonna to add to the humidity. It's gonna take it longer for it to evaporate. So there we go, lovely, lovely snake. Doing a lot better. Now she's had all her, all her shed removed. Whoa, yes. To give you a little bit of behind the scenes. So because I'm on my own, we, we have to think of different ideas. So at the moment I'm filming with the front camera so I can actually see when I'm filming all the time. So I can watch the screen, I can see what's filming and I know what's going on, I know what the camera's doing, I know if it's flashing or something like that because I'm on my own. When it's trying to do something like that and I've got a zoom, I have to use the back camera. And again, again, I can't see what it's filming. I can't tell if it's in focus or anything because I'm on my own. So what I have to do, because I haven't got a cameraman or anything like that, I have to set up something so I can see the screen. So what I had to do, you've got the camera which was set recording this way and then I was able to look in the mirror to look at the screen to see if it was in focus or not. Proper job, proper job, eventually, you never know, you might make enough money off the YouTube, we get a cameraman. That would be cool, would be cool. Bit far away yet, but extremely far away yet. But it would be nice to get a little bit of a crew to help me do some of the stuff, going on adventures and stuff like that, would be handy for me. I ain't got to do the filming, I can have someone else do the filming, I can just worry about doing adventures. That would be really cool. Uh, so that was the, would be nice to do that one day maybe. So we're going to crack on, we've got some more jobs for today. We've got to crack on the animals, do a bit more feeding. So we'll crack on and I'll see you in a bit. So, and, mm, have a drink. Just found out I've got a fancy Chinese for dinner tonight. Woo -hoo -hoo, looking forward to that. I've had another idea. What we've got here is wormies. And I've got no big axolotls to eat the wormies and these are the shop stock ones. I've already had some of I could I could sell them cheaper but... We, um, we've got some brand new ones on the shelves. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna see what fishes are big enough and brave enough to start taking some of the wormies. I, I have fed some to the pond fish before and they go around and eat quite a bit of it, which is nice while they eat all of it to be fair. Um, but we wanna see what other fishes can eat it. So I might try the garamis. We could also, I don't think the arowana would eat them. Uh, we could maybe try the discus. We could maybe try. Uh, I don't think the wolf fish will eat them, they're a bit too small. Could try little Oscars, big Oscar, maybe the piranhas, maybe the snakehead. So we go around, we see who wants some lovely wormies. We've got a fishing rod. <laughs> I wouldn't really fish for them. We've got wormies, ready to go, freshly washed. I wonder if the wolf fish wants one. Hungry? 
Yeah. Women's? He yeah, ain't interested in them. Do you want to use that one? You want it? No? Okie dokie then. Not for you. No, 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 no. No, you're going to be hungry for him, don't we? Wow. Wow, you let me know, box. Look at that. You must have had about seven or eight wormies. Seven or eight wormies. In one go. Snakehead, he normally only has locusts. So he likes to eat at the surface of the water. But we can see what he thinks of a wormy. There's no harm in trying. He's looking. We tried it. Oh, 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 yes. You see, he's using his bottom fins as like feet to hold him in place. Oh, he's proper going for it. There's little tips wiggling in your mouth. <laughs> ah, stunning fish though. Oh, gone, and he's gone. Want another one? It's coming. Oh, yes. He likes the wormies. Oh, yes, we likes the wormies. So, there we go, everybody. We are on 71 with that one. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed drinking day with Alex. Just a random game I thought we could do. I think it's done quite well. That is quite a large number. So, I think, well, it's gone up again. 72. I think it was a good idea, something a bit fun, so, 73. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.